we go. 2024. So it's a new year, new beginnings. We're back at it again. Um, honestly, I'm really expecting a lot of amazing things to take place this year and putting myself in position for like cool opportunities and continue to experience just the growth that's been taking place within my life, but also the impact that I'm having on others and that others have on me and just really cultivating amazing experiences and um, communities to keep that pure and uplifting, vibrant energy that truthfully, I feel like the world definitely needs more of, especially during these times. And I feel like I say that every year because just from my perspective, the world just seems like there is more unfortunate violence constantly taking place. But this video here is about 2024, the year I look within. And what that means to me is taking more time for journaling, for devotion, meditations, working out, getting better at cinematography. And I wanna like break down each section of those categories just to elaborate more on why I feel like that's such an impactful thing that I need in my life and just taking it to the next level. I definitely feel like this year is gonna be about discipline and consistency because those are, and compare it, because those two um, traits are more constant than inspiration and motivation because inspiration and motivation is more of a fleeting energy that you have it for a day and then you chase it until the next time you experience it again. Discipline and consistency is definitely more about you relying on yourself to stay committed to whatever task that you have at hand. Starting off with everything, I mean like I'm committing myself to a 30 day devotional on the book of Proverbs. Uh, this was written by David Cook and it talks about a strong man is wise. and. That's definitely something that I know for a fact. I always have room for growth in that area, a thousand percent. And uh, one of my goals for this year is to like get through the wisdom series within the Bible. So like the Psalms, the Proverbs, um, Ecclesiastes, Songs of Solomon, like all that. Um, about two years ago, I completed reading the entire Bible from start to finish, which was like a major life goal that I've always had and was really proud about doing that. And I didn't speed through it. Like I actually took my time with that because I just feel like it's super essential to who I'm becoming and continuing to show the world on a day-to-day -day basis. If you've seen the video, my yoga video from Costa Rica, um, you know, I've been teaching yoga and the biggest thing that I got from my, that retreat was the practice of meditation. And that's something that I've been doing almost every day. When we were in Costa Rica, we did it for 18 days straight. When I got back home, I did it for probably another 30 days straight. And now I'm starting the year off with, um, yeah, doing it every day. So I want to meditate at least for 30 minutes every day in correlation to like my devotion and prayers. Cause I just, feel like that's something that really strengthens me and calms my mind and gives me the time that I don't have within the day to evaluate my own thoughts and beliefs and perspectives and not to have any attachment to them, um, to allow those thoughts to rise and release, which is so essential. And I feel like that takes um, away those conversations where I'm seeking validation from others and potentially being invalidated or validated. I don't think there's any positive or negative connotation to that experience, but the biggest thing that I wanna say about doing the meditation is that you alleviate that. So now you have the time to reflect internally and, and actually come up with your own ideals and beliefs and solutions for whatever problems that you may be experiencing within that moment. So meditation is like gonna be high on the list this year. In regards to that, journaling is another thing. I just got some new, some new books that I'm gonna journal in. I guess you wouldn't call it a book, but my mind journal and balance planner. And uh, I think this is gonna help me with having more clear thoughts on the YouTube content 
things that I need to work through, just ideas and, you know, with, with thoughts, sometimes I used to think like I could withhold all this information, but I actually realized from just journaling and videography and all this different aspects of my life that I'm involved in that I need to write things down because six months from now, I may not re be able to recall that idea that I had within this moment. So journaling is gonna be a huge thing that uh, you guys will see over the week by week um, content that I upload here on YouTube. So another thing for 2024, which I started last year was the practice of Spanish and just practicing every day. So uh, mis amigos, um, ayuda mi todos los días con mi español. So I'm thankful for them. En la mañana yo estudio español por 30 minutos, you know, más o menos. And I just want to become very fluent in Spanish because I just feel like it's super cool to be able to communicate with like all the different cultures. And I got a huge opportunity to experience that last year in Costa Rica. So I want to run it back and like go to another Latin country um, of Spanish speakers, you know, so that'll be fun. And then lastly, you know, the cinematography, you know, I want to put out some more short films this year on the channel and just show like the growth. I never thought I would even be passionate about cinematography. Um, I know I like movies and films and stuff, you know, but just looking back at my life, like I've always been more connected to athletics. And now that I'm actually doing the cinematography and having appreciation for lighting and angles, um, different editing styles. And when you get to see the whole project you know, come to life, you're just like, wow, that was actually worth it. Even though it's a tedious, um, it's a tedious workflow and you have to be a very detailed person. But cinematography is definitely another thing um, that I'm looking forward to. And just to, um, you know, if we recap on that yoga conversation that I was having, like, you know, you guys may not know this, but I've been teaching yoga twice a week now, and that's been amazing. And I'm really thankful for the community that I've been able to lead. And, you know, shout out to all the practitioners and just all the conversations that I've been able to have with you all. And it's just been a very uplifting energy, especially to start off the new year with and continuing this throughout the year, obviously. So, this is just a brief overview of what I am seeking and acquiring for 2024, the journaling, the cinematography, um, speaking Spanish, uh, <clears throat> my devotion in the Bible, you know, all these things is what makes me who I am and the discipline and doing it constantly is really what I want to communicate and share with you all today because it's the discipline that makes us it's it's those actions those daily actions that we have that's what actually manifests who we are in my belief you can think it but you can also act on it too I think action is more of the priority than the thought itself so with that being said that's what you guys can expect from me from 2024 Yo, my name is Cash. Leave a like, comment on the video. You already know the vibes. If you've been here before, you already know that was coming. So good vibes only. If it's not good vibes, you get in block because we left that in 2023. And until then, I'll see y'all in the next video. So let's get to it. H-Town, baby.